Hello everyone and happy November. Welcome to today's live Zoo to You. My name is Lexi, I'm an educator here at the Stone Zoo and today I am here with our sloth family. If you have any questions during our chat today, please be sure to put those in the comments and I will try my best to answer them. So who you are seeing on your left is Lunesta. She is our female, she is our mom. And then on the left, or on the right rather, sorry, that is Nero, he's our male and he is our dad. And then tucked in with mom on her chest is little baby Taco. So Lunesta is 17 years old and she came to us from the Montreal Biodome. And Nero is 16 years old and he came to us from the Tulsa Zoo. Taco is right around three months old. And this is Lunesta and Nero's fifth baby together. Their firstborn, his name is Mojo, and he went down to the Alexandria Zoological Park in Louisiana. Their second born, Maxine, she can be seen on exhibit at the Franklin Park Zoo in the tropical forest. Their next born, his name is Molasses, and he is an ambassador animal at the Franklin Park Zoo. And Siesta Sloth was their next born, and she is on exhibit at the Stone Zoo with our cotton top tamarinds in the windows to the wild area. And then you can see our sloth family here, including Taco, in the sloth exhibit at the Windows to the Wild area here at the Stone Zoo. So baby Taco is showing off so nicely how much these sloths here sleep. Sloths sleep for around 15 to 18 hours a day. And so hopefully, or maybe by the end of this chat, Baby Taco will pop out and say hello, but this is just a normal behavior for them. They are super, super sleepy animals. These are two toad sloths, and you might be able to see right on Nero's hand. He's got it hooked around that tree. You can see he's got two little claws, and that is how we can tell if they are a two toed or a three toed sloth. So it's those front hands have two toes on them, but all sloths have three toes on their back foot. So the trick is to look for those front hands. If it's two toes, it's a two-toed sloth. If it's three toes, it's a three-toed sloth. Pretty easy. This species of sloth is native to tropical and subtropical forests of South America in places like Venezuela, Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, and parts of Brazil as well. What's really interesting about this pair here, Lunesta and Nero, is that most sloths like to remain solitary. They only will really get together in order to breed. However, Lunesta and Nero, over the course of the past 10 plus years that they have been together, they have just shown us signs that they do enjoy being together. We've, we've watched them, we've monitored them, and they just live really nicely together. They are really good um, co-parents and everything like that. So it's a really unique situation that is really, really special for them. So I know what you all came here for, and that was the baby sloth facts. So allow me to get right into those. So sloths are typically pregnant from around five to six months. It's not an exact um, range, but it's around five to six months, and they'll typically only have one baby, as we've seen with all five of Lunesta's. And when they're born, babies will immediately seek shelter along mom's chest or kind of belly area. And they pretty much cling to her and don't really move super, um, move a lot for the first around five weeks. And when bo babies are born, they're typically around 10 inches in length from kind of head to bottom. And they weigh around 12 ounces. So they're very itty bitty when they are born. And Adult sloths will grow to be somewhere between 8 and 20 pounds. So There's a pretty good range there. And so when babies are clinging to mom, they are primarily sleeping or nursing. Those are kind of the two main things that they will be doing. And then once they kind of reach around five weeks, 
a lot starts happening. So at the around five week mark, again, it can be, it can differentiate between um, each baby, but at around five weeks, the baby will start to understand crawling a little bit and they will kind of crawl around along mom's chest um, and kind of belly area. And they will also start to work and eat some of those crumbs that mom might leave around her mouth. Now, what's really interesting is when the babies will do that, they're actually inheriting food preferences, which I find so fascinating. So this is more so important in the wild when baby is kind of eating the crumbs around mom's mouth. They understand what foods are good and what foods are safe for them to eat. So when they're ready to go out on their own again, or ready to go out on their own at all, they will know exactly what foods are safe for them to eat. If they kind of recognize a smell, they will immediately know, hey, I remember this food. It's safe for me to eat it, and I'm going to go ahead and do that. Or the opposite, if they kind of don't recognize something, they'll be able to kind of go, oh, I'm not supposed to be eating this right now. So um, our sloths, or our baby sloth rather, will eat, start to eat some small solid foods at around 10 weeks. And so they'll kind of start early by kind of just like gnawing on a piece of food that might be in mom's mouth. And then um, mom might start to let the baby kind of munch off a really small piece. And so then they start to kind of build up how much solid foods they can eat. So these sloths are omnivores. They do eat mostly vegetarian, however. Their diet on a day-to-day -day basis is some leafy greens. They get carrots, apples, sweet potato, grapes, hard-boiled egg, sometimes some banana, and they also get a dry chow, which is similar to just like a kibble, but it's made for omnivores like these guys, and it just gives them all those extra nutrients that they will need. I know that Lunesta's favorite does happen to be sweet potato. She does tend to um, go after that more, and I do know that Nero pretty much will eat anything. He loves some apples. He loves hard-boiled egg as well. So sloths have an extremely slow metabolism, which is really interesting because this allows them to survive on very little food. That's why they're moving so slow. They don't really eat a lot. Their metabolism is super, super slow. And they will actually only come down from their trees at around once per week in order to go to the bathroom. That is how slow their whole digestive system is. But what else is really interesting about that is sloths are also mostly nocturnal. So whenever they come down to do something like go to the bathroom, they will do that only at night. It's the safest time for them to kind of go down and do that. Um, and as I said, they are mostly nocturnal. So they are sleeping 15 to 18 hours per day. And one other pretty fun fact that I wanted to share, a little less baby related, but I know that sometimes if you've come to the zoo, you might see one of our slots way up at the top, kind of looking like he's looking out of sunlight. And that is exactly what he is doing. So slots, their body temperatures range anywhere from 74 to 92 degrees Fahrenheit. So sometimes when their body temperatures get a little low, they actually do have to sun themselves a little bit like reptiles. So if you've ever seen our sloths do that, it's probably Nero. He does that more than the others. And he's just trying to get a little warm. So I'm actually going to offer them a little bit of their diet. And I was wondering if we had any questions come in. Do sloths swim? They do swim. Sloths are really, really good swimmers. So when they move across the trees, they can typically move at six to eight feet per minute, which is not very much, but I do know that they are very good swimmers, so I don't know exactly how fast they can swim, but if they feel like they are threatened in the wild and they know they're above maybe a body of water, they will let go of the tree and they will fall right down into the water and they will swim away to safety. That was a good question. And with babies, do they only have one at a time usually? Yes. They typically only have one at a time. I don't know if there have been any recorded um, twins in slots. Um, so yeah, primarily they'll just be having one baby. 
And then if people want to meet our slots at the zoo, are there opportunities to do that? There absolutely are opportunities to meet our slots here at the Stone Zoo. We do host sloth tours. So if you go on our Zoo New England website, you'll be able to find a spot where you can come in to the exhibit. You will have the opportunity to offer them food if they should choose to eat it. And you'll get a really nice half hour experience with our sloths, be able to take some pictures with them and get to know them a little bit better. I don't know that we're going to see Baby Taco today, but... That's okay. Yeah. As Baby Taco gets a little bit older, you will be able to see them a little bit more. As they become a little bit more active, they will go off on their own, kind of away from mom at around nine months to a year. So we're waiting a little bit longer for that. However, Baby does get super active and tries to munch on some food from mom. So if you come by the zoo, you, may, you might be able to catch a peek as Lunesta might be going by. Um, I think we're about out of time and I'm not seeing any more questions, so all right. let's wrap up. Sounds good. All right, well, thank you all so much for tuning in for our zoo to you today. I hope you enjoyed meeting our sloth family. I'm sorry that baby Taco was a little bit sleepy this morning, but hey, that's what it's like being a sloth. We will see you next time. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.